I think it's also a great excuse of, of being a podcaster or radio show host uh, to kind of get interesting people to talk to. <laughs> because yes, kind of everyone yeah. <laughs> likes to, to be publicized and to be uh, well talked about. Uh, and for you as the host, it's a great way to actually talk to people and to ask questions without kind of having this weird feeling of uh, interrogating someone <laughs> because it's publicly announced. Mm hmm. Right. Yes. And, and, and beyond that, too, I mean, you, you, uh, that, that's a, an important thing, too, the networking, um, you know, just have, being able to have these conversations, you know, reaching out to, um, you know, pretty, pretty large people, I guess, pretty popular people. I wouldn't be there'd be there'd be no reason for us to have a conversation before. Right. Um, so, yeah, you're, you're exactly right. So, um, it, it's, it definitely provides a, a very good excuse um, for, you know, starting conversations with people. And it's a, it's, a, it's a good opportunity. It's open up the conversation for, for you know, for for the, for the public. So. Um, that, that's another thing, but, but, you know, talk, uh, going back to the Free Republic of Pasnia too, um, I mean, the, the radio show is what, well, it was the foundation for everything I'm doing now too. Um, so I, I found out about through LEA Radio, um, something called the Midwest Peace Liberty Fest in Michigan, um, in 2015 through a colleague and calling, I met a colleague I met on, on the internet who started a little, I guess, organization, Liberate RVA down in Richmond, Virginia, Cal Molina. He told me about this freedom festival that's, uh, you know, is taking place and I, uh, you know, just ended up, ended up showing up there and now, um, I've got, uh, um, obviously, you know, um, we, uh, here at the Pasnia, we incorporate, you know, private security culture principles. Um, only people who I know or who have been vetted can come out here. Um, well, my first layer of trust, essentially, the, the first people that came out here for Bonnie Fest one, um, were essentially like, you know, the 20 or 25 people I've been going to Freedom Festivals with, um, especially the, the Midwest Peace Liberty Fest for the past five years or so. So, um, as far as the, I guess that, that that's a pretty, pretty significant thing too, is yeah, the, the podcasting. Um, not only did it just provide, you know, good, you know, online networking skills, like, um, an editor for Agoras Nexus now. Um, so I, I, you know, get paid Bitcoin to, um, you know, edit articles over there. Um, so that's, that's pretty neat. That wouldn't happen without the podcast and all that. So, I mean, yeah, um, obviously the online stuff is great, but it's manifesting into physical space and time. Like we're actually building something here. 